White Rim Trail or White Rim Trail Road in National Park parlance is a 100-mile unpaved route that loops around the island in the Sky Mesa in Canyonlands National Park near Moab, Utah. It is on a bucket list of many dual sport and adventure riders, and rightfully so. The scenery is spectacular, and the trail is rideable by anyone with a mediocre off-road experience. White Rim Trail named after a layer of White Rim Sandstone that it runs on top was built in the 1950s by the Atomic Energy Commission to access uranium deposits. The mines didn't produce much ore and were abundant. All the White Rim Trail is rough and rugged route, on the street legal plated motorcycles and high clearance four-wheel drive vehicles are permitted. Off-road only dirt bikes, ATVs, side-by-side -side, that are common on many trails around Moab are prohibited which helps keep the noise and traffic down. There is also a daily limit of 50 day use permits. Since the trail is within Canyonlands National Parks Pass or entrance fee of $25 per motorcycle, good for 7 days is required. Day use permits are free at visitor centers, but a $6 fee is required for permits purchased online at registration.gov. There are several campgrounds along the trail that require overnight permits for an additional fee. In the spring and fall, reservations are strongly encouraged. The road became part of Canyonlands after it was established in 1964. Some of the White Rim Trail is red dirt and sand, miles of it are on a bare sandstone, which makes it for a bumpy ride. Long travel suspension and good ground clearance and sturdy skid plate are essential. The road into Canyonlands climbs up into the island in the Sky Mesa, which is where the visitor center and many RV clogged overlooks are located. Since the White Rim Trail is below the Mesa, Riding it in either direction requires going down a series of steep switchbacks to get to the trail. Thank you. 